Let's play a game. What game? We're supposed to be going over the dossier right now. Let's play a game. I'm not playing a game. If you want to look at the dossier so bad, you can go to your own house and get yourself a copy. Oh my you. god, you still need this? I already memorized it. Come on, let's play a game. It'll help you memorize it faster. All right, listen, this is the game. I'm going to describe certain things without using words that are taboo, and then you have to guess what they are. So, first name is like your favorite candy, blank and Ike. Second name is like the city that burned down by a volcano. Like Pompeo. I don't need a game to memorize that. It's not even in the dossier. That's something we know. All right, let's continue then. What makes a word taboo? It makes the game too easy. I don't think we're playing this right. Great, you're awake. I have a confidential case for your eyes. You're the sharpest knife in the drawer, and this one is tough. Stolen notes from the government. 1.2 million dollars. This thief knows how we operate. And they haven't left a trace. Lazarino. I know she was your partner, which might, under normal circumstances, be a conflict of interest. But that's why you're the only one qualified to crack this case. She's been gone for three days. So this is what she's been up to. We had the other agents wipe through the vault she ransacked. They scoured the whole place but could only find a message and a dandelion next to that receipt. And the message? Let's play a game. Her criminal activity so far seems so unlike the agent I thought she was. I always knew it was in her, I just wish I reported it sooner. Oh my god, I love this place. We have the best fresh fruit. And look at this, all this meat, all these options, everything organic. Doesn't get better than that. All the herbs and body stuff that you could possibly want. I think it's so funny how they have all these random natural things. Crystal menthols. What if we have our own code? Just for the two of us. What do we need privacy for? The more the agency knows, the better they can help us with our weaknesses, our strengths the better they can help us do what we need to do. Okay, think about it like this. We make up codes and crack them all the time. When you make a security system, you have to test it out, see if it really works. How's that? What do you think? Girl, I think you just want to keep secrets of the agency. But I mean, I guess as an exercise, it will work. Okay, so, how's this? For meet me at the hiding spot. Of course. Of course. You should never be so stupid. Let's play a game. Too easy. Why did you accept those? They're sus. You don't have to be suspicious of everything, Axel. He was a nice boy. He was a civilian. Having him in your life can put you in danger, and vice versa. <laughs> oh my god, they're flowers, and he's not in my life. We're just two folks passing in the night. Isn't that romantic? No, because if he doesn't even mean anything to you, then why accept them at all? They're cheap, ugly, and girl, they don't even smell good. Now that he's out of sight, let me just throw them away, like, no, uh, they're mine. I 
don't even want to see him again. It ruined the mystique. Hey, these kind of blend in with blue, huh? It's too late to avoid getting in trouble. You've already been seen. Where's the money? I spent it all. Every cent. And I loved it. You betrayed the agency? You betrayed me. I'm trying to save you. You're selfish. That's what you are. You know people at the agency serve people. You ripped out a million dollars out of people who need it. Oh please, Axel. You know the agency doesn't care about the money. They don't care about the people. They don't even care about you. All they care about is defiance and control. You're a liar. You're just saying this for your own benefit. What benefit? I'm a sitting duck waiting to be executed by the agency at their own discretion. Quack, quack. Then what? What do you want? Be free. You're so selfish. You don't care about me. You don't care about the agency. You don't care about anything but yourself. Last lesson. Last. We performed an autopsy on Lazarina's body and we found remnants of ovarian germ cell cancer. There is evidence to believe that she knew this beforehand. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe.